And joining us now is Tracy Walder, News Nation contributor and former CIA officer and FBI special agent. Tracy, thanks so much for being here. Thank you for having me, Natasha. So, Tracy, what do you make of the teen saying on police body cam that he will get a slap on the wrist and be out in 30 days? Well, first of all, I've watched this video countless times, and it is absolutely horrific and chilling. You know, I think most likely Mr. Ayala's run-ins with law enforcement in the past have most likely been through the juvenile court system. However, I think in this case, and rightly so, um, the judge is going to try both of them as adults. This is murder and could potentially be premeditated murder, depending on what avenue they decide to go. And so I think Mr. Ayala was thinking, you know, I'm a juvenile at the time of this crime. I'm 17. All of my run-ins in the past have been with the juvenile court. Those are typically not lengthy sentences. And that's what he was thinking he was going to get here. But he is extremely wrong in this case. You know, and let's talk about the chilling video that the suspect recorded. How significant is it to hear what happened in the moments before impact? The suspect's laughing, talking about bumping him. So in my opinion, obviously I'm not an attorney, but this video is going to be looked at really like a confession because you have their own words. You have their own thoughts. You have them basically methodically going through and telling whatever viewers they are planning to promote this to that this is what they are going to do. And really this stops short of actually being a face-to-face -face confession. So the video in this case is going to be incredibly damning because they can put the video, they can put the phones, they can put the voices in both both Mr. Ayala and Mr. Key's hands. You know, in, in, as you mentioned, the driver is 18 now. He was 17 at the time of the alleged crime. Uh, two questions here. Do you think first or second degree murder is on the table here? And if they are found guilty, what is a likely sentence you think they're looking at? Oh, yeah. I mean, in, in short, uh, first or second degree murder is definitely on the table here. It may be second degree. I, I'm really unsure in terms of what they're going to look at. Really, it's going to be about premeditation. Did they steal those vehicles with the intent to hunt and kill someone? I don't believe they were purposely targeting Mr. Probes, um, but I do think that they intended to hurt someone that day. Whether that's going to translate to murder, I don't know. Now, if they go, you know, with first or second degree, death penalty is not going to probably be on the table in this case. I'm unsure of what Nevada law is off the top of my head. They're most likely not going to get that because they were juveniles at the time of the crime. But they could be looking at life in prison or life with the possibility of parole. And Tracy, one more question for you. Is there any scenario in, in which the parents of the suspects could face any charges? You know, that's an interesting um, question, Natasha. My guess is going to be no. We see that usually in cases where kids or underage uh, individuals have utilized parents' guns and those haven't been stored properly. So my guess is that the parents will not be looking at charges in this case. Okay. Tracy Walder, appreciate the context and time. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Go to newsnationnow.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.